Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade For, and welcome to my channel. All right, y'all, today is the day. We are making a huge Frankenstein wreath. I'm so excited for this. I love Frankenstein, Frankie. Um, so I showed y'all a picture of the Frankenstein wreath that I made a few years ago, and several of you wanted to see it. So, I went to Craft Outlet Online, this is not sponsored. <laughs> they have no idea who I am, but Craft Outlet Online, and I ordered my Frankenstein. Y'all, wait until you see him. He's got his little head, hands, there's his little legs. Um, so we're gonna use Frankie. I have a 14 inch wreath frame. This is from Dollar Tree. Just a basic wire wreath frame from Dollar Tree. Like I said, this is the 14 inches. Now, from Hobby Lobby, I have Deco Mesh. I love these colors. I think they're perfect for Frankenstein and that pop of orange for Halloween. So, so if you're not familiar, Hobby Lobby, every other week, their mesh and ribbon goes 50% off. So regularly, this was $7.99, I got it for $4. And it's um, 10 inches wide and you get 10 yards. So I got this beautiful purple. I also got the orange and this really pretty green color. It's almost like a lime in a way. That. You also need some pipe cleaners. I use black for my Frankenstein. Black pipe cleaners, you can use whatever you want. Now, I also get my ribbon from Craft Outlet. You can get ribbon at Hobby Lobby, Walmart sells it, Joann's, Michael's, everybody has ribbon. So I'm gonna show you what I have. I've got this black and white polka dot ribbon. This is two and a half inches wide. So I got black and white. I've got this green, purple, and orange, just like our mesh. Look at that, and the purple is glittery, like sparkles. I love this. I also have black and white striped in a one inch. How big is this? This one inch? Yeah, one and a half inch in this. This one right here is also one and a half inch. It has a, it's black and white stripes with the same colored polka dots with glitter as the green, purple, orange. So that one. And then I also have this really pretty green with spiders and spider webs. <laughs> Look at that. This is so fun. This is also two and a half inches wide. Um, Craft Outlet, if you're familiar, you can't link it. Like, I don't know why like, their website's not set up like that. So I can enter, like, um, the item number. I can, like, I can write Spider Ribbon and I can write this um, item number. And all you have to do, go to Craft Outlet, you type in that, and it'll pop up. Like, Frankenstein. Um... I'll get the item number if I can and I'll put it on there. All right, other tools you're gonna need. You're gonna want some wire cutters or just sharp scissors. I use wire cutters. A ruler. <laughs> I had to go buy new rulers because I could not find mine anywhere. So just a ruler and then just some good sharp scissors. And then we are gonna get into this. I am gonna adjust the camera. That way you can see exactly what to do. And believe me, when we are done with this wreath, you are gonna know exactly how to make yours. So I am so excited to share Frankie with you. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, so with your 14 inch wire wreath frame, you have what I call six sections. So in between these little crossbars, that's one, two, three, four, five, six sections. You're gonna put a total of three pipe cleaners in each section. So that means you're gonna need 18 pipe cleaners for one wreath. So going to get these. And what you do is, now if you already know how to do this because we've made several wreaths together, you can go ahead and skip this part. But if not, I'll show you. So on the outside, one, two bars, the two rings right here, you're gonna put a pipe cleaner, you're gonna go in, 
You're gonna bring it up. Get them both about the exact same length of each other. And then about like an inch or so from this little bar, you're gonna give it a good, tight little twist. Just one twist, just to get it on there, just like that. Now you're gonna scoot over to here, and by this little bar, you're gonna put one more in that same section. Okay, so I'm gonna go in from behind it, kinda lay that down. I'm gonna get my pipe cleaners about the same length of each other. So now I'm gonna give it one good, tight little twist. Just one twist, that's it. So you see, it's about an inch from that one and about an inch from that. Now, you're gonna go right in the center and you're gonna go down to the first two bars, the inside and the one right next to it. So right in between these two right here, you're gonna put a pipe cleaner on those first two inner rings. And once again, all you're gonna do is one tight little twist. That's it. Okay, so there you're gonna have three pipe cleaners in one section. Okay, we'll do one more together. Okay. Take your pipe cleaner right next to that little, little crossbar, about an inch away from it. And it doesn't have to be exact. You don't have to measure anything because you can kind of like slide them in just. But you're just going to give it one tight little twist. Just like that. There's that little crossbar and you got it right there. I'm going to scoot over. I'm going to come right here next to this one. And I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. Go in behind it. And I'm going to do just one good tight little twist. So now I have two at the top of this one. Now I'm gonna come down to the inner and the next one, and I'm gonna put a pipe cleaner right there. Okay, so like right in the center of them, I make sure that I get my pipe cleaners about the same length of each other, and you'll see why later why you want them about the same length. Okay, just do one good, tight little twist. See that? That's what you're gonna look like. So you're gonna have three here, three here. Now you're gonna continue. You're gonna do three, 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 three. I'm gonna go ahead and do these right here and then we'll do the last one together. All right, so I got them just like that. Now we'll do the last one together, which is the exact same thing. You're just gonna, um, the first two right here on the outside, you're gonna go about an inch away from the crossbar Get your pipe cleaners about the same length of each other. One tight little twist. Come over to here, same thing. About the same length of each other. And just do one tight little twist. So like I said, you can like slide it around if you don't get it just right. All right, so we have our two on the outside. Now we're gonna do the one right here in the center of these first inner two. Okay, just kind of going behind it. All right, and then once again, just one tight little twist. All right, so this is what you look like. You have a total of 18 pipe cleaners on here. One twist each, three in each section. All right, so there's that. We're gonna now set this to the side, to the side for a few minutes. All right, now we're gonna use all three colors. I love to use a bunch of different mesh and ribbon. It just makes it so colorful and festive. All right, I got all three open. As always, I love to cut my mesh at 24 inches long. Every wreath maker does their own thing, so you just find what you like. But what I do is, I take a ruler, which obviously is 12 inches long. I'm gonna take my mesh. I'm just gonna let this roll right off my counter. <laughs> so what I do is, I take my ruler, 
I line it up just kind of like right here on the end, the edge of the mesh. And what I do is I do one complete little flip of that ruler. So that right there gives me 24 inches long. And now all I have to do is just cut as straight as I can right across like the top of that ruler. And that right there is my 24 inch cut. So I need, because I need a total of 18. Since I have three colors, I'm gonna do six orange, six green, and six purple, all at 24 inches. Once again, I'll show you. You just take your ruler right up to the top line, the edge, just do one, just hold on to it, do one complete little flip. It does not have to be completely perfect. Just right here, just kind of where that top of that ruler is, just cut straight across. If you go a little bit, a little bit wider, it's all right. Okay, so there's two of the orange. All right, so I have six of the orange cut. Like I said, 24 inches long. So I have six of those. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the green. I'm just gonna let it roll off my counter. I'm gonna lay my ruler at the edge, right here at the edge of my mesh. I'm gonna hold my ruler and I'm just gonna do one flip. Like I said, that one flip is gonna give me 24 inches wide or 24 inches long. Now I'm just gonna kinda of cut straight across at the top of that ruler. Like I said, I go a little bit above my ruler. All right, I have six green, six purple, six orange, and look how much mesh I have left. You can make you one, if not two more wreaths with this right here, and you can mix it up. You could do these two colors, you could do this, I mean, you can do whatever. But yeah, so you have plenty left over for like another wreath or two or make it like a little garland. All right, now let's make the wreath. Okay, so I'm gonna keep all my colors separate, kind of little separate piles. Get this right here. Now, it does not matter where you start, but you do wanna start on the outside. You're gonna do the outside ring first, but you can start any little spot you want. So we'll just kind of go right here. Um, I'm just gonna pick purple because it's right next to me. <laughs> All right, if you haven't made a wreath with me, I do what I call the spider crawl. All right, I'm gonna take some scissors, something heavy, just to sit that up there. Now, I, t I roll this out. I take my end and I do a complete little row. Just like that, see that little, like little ring, little row? I'll show you up close in just a minute. Okay, and then I pinch it right in the center, right there, and then I let my fingers like pinch and crawl like a spider. So I'm pinching and like crawling like a spider up towards the top. Okay, so when I get about like that much right there, I then let this end do a complete little row, sometimes two, and then I pinch it right there in the, let me show you. I pinch it right there in the center and look at that beautiful bow. Like it's almost like a bow tie. And you see the end is a complete little ring, like a little loop. That way when the mesh starts to like fray or something, it's gonna be on the inside and it's gonna make your wreath look, it's gonna keep your wreath looking beautiful. All right, so while you have that pinched, you're just gonna come over to any one of your outer ring pipe cleaners. You just open it up. Don't untwist it, just open it up. Right there in the center where it's pinched, lay that right down the center of that pipe cleaner. Once again, give it one tight little twist, just one, because we're gonna be adding other stuff to it. All right. So we got purple. Now I like to go with green next. Once again, I'm just gonna, my scissors, anything you have just to hold that other end down. I'm gonna give this end a good little row. You can go one or two little rows. 
pinch it in the center and do your little spider crawl, pinching little spider crawl up towards the top. Okay, once again, you get about that much, you know, right there. And then let this end do a complete little row or two. And then I grab it and I pinch it. So once again, I've got that beautiful little bow and my ends are looped. So what you do is go to that very next pipe cleaner in that same section, the very next pipe cleaner. I'm gonna lay this down right in the center of that pipe cleaner. And I'm just gonna give it one tight little twist. Okay, and then you just kind of fluff as you go. Now, I'm gonna go for an orange. Okay. Hold that end down for me. I'm gonna give this end just a good little row or two. I'm gonna pinch it in the center. And I'm gonna spider crawl up towards the top. Okay. When I get about right up there, I'm now gonna hold this end I'm gonna roll it, and then I'm gonna pinch it. And then once again, you have a beautiful, clean little row, little loop, okay? All right, what you do is, you go to the very next pipe cleaner, the very next one on the bottom row. Do not skip around. I'm now gonna put the orange, okay? I'm gonna do one tight little twist. And then you'll just kind of keep fluffing as you go. Let's do that. Y'all, it's gonna be so pretty. <laughs> you may be like, what is she doing? But trust me. All right, so purple, green, orange, purple again. You just start all over going around the bottom. Okay, I'll show you. Okay. I'm gonna roll my little end. I'm gonna pinch it in the center. I'm gonna pinch and spider crawl as I go up. I'm gonna take that end, I'm gonna roll that once or twice, whatever you wanna do. You just pinch it right in the center and just look how pretty. The purple you can really tell because it's so dark. That little loop. So now, go to the very next pipe cleaner in that same section, okay. which will be right here. And one tight little twist. So you can see from the back, let me show you. In this section, I have two. Loop around right here, I have the two. And now I'm just gonna go to the very next pipe cleaner at the bottom. And of course, it's gonna be green. <laughs> I just rotate colors. I'm gonna pinch it in the center. It's so pretty. I'm gonna go to that very next pipe cleaner, right there next to that purple. And I'm still on the bottom. I'm not going up to the top. All right, so green, now we need an orange. Okay, so once again, the very next open pipe cleaner on the bottom, one, tight little twist. All right, so now we are back to purple. I'm gonna do another purple one. All right, so I went ahead, I just have this last, um, this last section right here we can do together. So I just ended with purple, so that means I'm gonna go for another green, and then pinch it right in the center. I'm gonna go with my green at the very next open pipe cleaner. One tight little twist. All right, so now I'm gonna go with orange. And orange is our last one on the bottom right here. Pinch it. All right, my very last pipe cleaner on the bottom row. I'm just gonna lay that down in there. And one good tight twist. All right, now go ahead on the bottom. Go ahead and start kind of like twisting and fluffing out your mesh. 
Okay, this is what we're looking like. Now on the top, you have six total pipe cleaners, one in each section. So once again, start anywhere that you want. I'm gonna grab purple because it's next to me. But it's the same thing, the same little um, technique with your mesh. Just that little row, I'm gonna pinch it. Get that up there really quick. I'm gonna roll my ends. Okay. So I'll just go right here. This very first one, right here on the top. Now on the top section, I'm just gonna put that purple right down in there. Same thing, one tight twist. That's it. All right, I'm just not gonna rotate it. The very next open pipe cleaner, you're gonna continue to rotate your colors. Once again, I'm gonna go for my green, then I'm gonna do orange, purple. All right, we are at our last pipe cleaner up here on the top, which is orange. So I went ahead and made our little bundle. I'm now once again gonna put this right down in the center of that one pipe cleaner. I'm just gonna do one tight little twist with the pipe cleaner. All right, now you're just gonna kinda go through and just fluff it. Kind of spread it out, just fluff it a little bit. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. <laughs> now believe me, like I said, it's gonna become even prettier. So now I'm gonna set this to the side. All right, I'm gonna work with four different ribbons. Because I'm working with four ribbons, I love to mix mine together. So I'm gonna do these two together and then I'm going to put these two together. So I need nine of each of these because I need a total of 18 bundles. So I'm going to cut none of these and none of these. Once again, you're going to want your ruler. I love to keep my process as simple as possible. So all I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my ruler. I cut my, I personally, I cut my ribbon at 12 inches long. So I just take a ruler, I go to the end. Now, you can either do one at a time. So at the end of that ruler, you would just give that a cut and that's 12 inches. Or if you have really good sharp scissors, you can rotate it a couple of times. So you would just go, give it one little flip inside there. Okay, that's gonna give me, and that can go again. It just depends on like how sharp your scissors are. All right, so that, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. All right, so by, so by counting, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do one more for nine. All right, so I've got nine strips of ribbon now. All I'm gonna do is, at the end of my roller, I'm just gonna cut that straight across. I'm now gonna give this like a good tight pinch on the ends. I'm going to carefully just slide my ruler out of there. Okay, slide my ruler out of there. Okay, so because I pinched my ends, I can now just stick my scissors right there in that loop. Just pull it kind of straight up in the air and cut straight across, which just cut all those for me. Now I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna do the same thing on this end, right where that little crease was. I'm gonna take my scissors in there, kind of pull that down, cut straight across. And now all that ribbon was cut for me. So I now have nine strips 
of this pretty ribbon. So, like I said, you can either just cut one at a time. If that's what you're comfortable with, just lay your ruler down. Yeah, you can just lay your ruler down, cut at the end of it, and just make sure that you get none of these. Or you can go ahead and just kind of wrap it and just do two cuts and you're done. All right? So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm not counting the flips, I'm counting the actual pieces of ribbon. So once again, at the very end of that roller, my last flip, I'm just gonna cut that straight across. Now, give that good tight pinches on the end. Oh, and I always use wired ribbon. I highly recommend wired ribbon when you're making a, a, a wreath. All right, get that out of there. Okay, kind of press, make sure I got everything. Now I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna stick my scissors right through there. I'm gonna pull that down, and I'm gonna cut straight across. Okay, so that is cut for me. Now I just have to do the same thing on this end. Just cut that straight across. All right, and once again, I have nine strips of my ribbon. All right, I'm gonna do the exact same things for these. I need nine of this one, nine of this one, cut at 12 inches long. All right, so you see I've got all of these. I have nine of each ribbon cut. Now, what I like to do, I like to go ahead and dovetail my ends right now. Before I get everything onto the wreath, I like to go ahead and get them all dovetailed and cleaned up. So, for those of you that don't know how to dovetail, you just take your ribbon, you fold it over in half, okay? And what I do is, on the folded side, I take my scissors, I go straight up and at an angle. And I cut up, and then that gives you that perfect, clean dovetail. I'll show you again, right there. You just fold it over in half, on the folded side right here, I take my scissors, just like that, and then I cut at an angle, and there's that beautiful dovetail. So it works the same way with the, um, the skinnier ones. You take it, you just fold it right over in half. On the folded side, I take my scissors and I cut up at an angle. And once again, there is that clean, beautiful dovetail. Same thing, you take it, just fold it over, line up your little ends. On the folded side, I cut up at an angle, just like that. All right, so once again, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do the same thing to every single one of these ribbons, and then we're gonna start to put our wreath together. All right, so like a little like trick, a little shortcut for you. What you can do is you can take like two or three ribbon, put them together, line up the ends, fold it over, and then just, that way you can cut two at one time. Just like that. So it like really kind of like cut your time down. The trick is you want sharp scissors and they don't have to be expensive. I always get my scissors when they're 50% off at Hobby Lobby. Same thing, I'm just gonna take these two together. I'm gonna line up the end, fold it over, line that up. I'm gonna cut up at an angle. And then just cut two at once. I wanna show you, look how cool this spider ribbon is. It's like, it's so creepy, 
But yet I love it. Look at those spiders in that webbing. All right, so what I like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my bundles together. So I'm gonna take my spiders and then the polka dots with the glitter. I'm gonna put these two together and I'm just gonna keep stacking right on top. So I've got the green with the polka dots. I'm gonna do green with the polka dot and I'm just gonna keep putting these right here. I'm gonna do the same thing with this right here. I'm gonna take my black and white polka dot and then look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. I love that purple glitter. All right. And I'm just gonna keep doing this. Just rotating black polka dot. That right there on the top. Okay, now we're gonna take this bundle, just kinda like separate them. All right, now we're gonna grab our wreath. All right, now we're gonna start to make our wreath beautiful. All right, once again, start on the bottom ring. Okay, you're just gonna pick any pipe cleaner that you wanna start with. All right, I'm just gonna start right here at the purple. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pick up my first two right here. What I do is, I take these two together, I give them just a little fold, just right in half. Just like right in half. Then I open it back up. And then right there where that little fold was, I know that was the center. So I now will pinch that together, just like that. All right, so right here in my little pipe cleaner, I'm gonna lay that down, right down there in the center. And then once again, I'm just gonna give it one good, tight twist, just one. All right, so now I'm gonna take my ribbons and I'm going to make like an X. I'm gonna open them up like that. So because I have the big one going down, the smaller one going up, I'm now going to reverse it. I'm now going to take my stripe down and the bigger one up and I kind of like curl my end just a little bit to where it looks like that. See how pretty that is? Now I'm going to the very next pipe cleaner. Do not skip around because you will get confused because I've done it. <laughs> So I got that one. I will now take this little bundle right here, kind of line it up. I'm just gonna give it one complete little fold over. Like I said, that just kind of marks where the center of my ribbon is. And then I will pinch that together. Okay. And I'm gonna come to the very next pipe cleaner at the bottom. So once again, just one tight little twist. Same thing. I'm now going to take my ribbon and I'm going to open it up. I got the bottom, the black and white going down. So now I have the black and white going up. And look, look how pretty those are together. They complement each other so well. All right, so it's the same thing. I'm just going to keep rotating all the way around the bottom. I'm just going to the very next open pipe cleaner. I'm gonna line that up, give it one little fold over in half. Like I said, it just kind of marks my center for me. And then I would just pinch that right there together. Just that very next pipe cleaner. I'm gonna put that right down inside there. And I'm just gonna give it one tight little twist. Once again, I'm just gonna open up my ribbon. Like that. Okay, so now I'll take that up. Do that. Just like that. Alright, so now I'm gonna take this one. And this is just very repetitive. <laughs> just fold that right over in half. Mark where your center is. And then you'll just pinch it right there in that little center. Find your very next pipe cleaner at the bottom. Okay, and then just a good tight little twist. Once again, just open up your ribbon. Just pull one up, one down. And like I said, I just like to rotate it. 
So that one's going up. So now I'll make that one go down. And I'll just kind of make like an X with it. Okay, so you see, it's just the same step. I will now pick this one up and just keep going around the bottom, rotating the ribbon. So I'll go ahead and do this really quick and then we'll move to. All right, once again, our very last one on the bottom, right over here, put that right down there in the center of that pipe cleaner. One tight little twist. And once again, I'm just gonna open up my ribbons. See what I'm saying? I've got like the purple or the stripe going like this and the black and white going like that. All right, so now you're gonna come around to the top. You're gonna do the exact same thing. You're just gonna pick up one of your bundles. Like I said, I always just kind of like give it a little fold to mark my center and I'm gonna pinch it. All right, once again, I'm gonna come up here down to the top. Just pick any pipe cleaner to start at. And then just put that down in there and do one tight little twist. And once again, I'm now going to open up my ribbons, going opposite directions of each other. Okay, so I got that one right there. Now I'm going to pick up this combo. Fold that. One little quick little fold for me. Pinch it together. All right, I'm gonna go to that very next pipe cleaner on the top. Okay, right down in there. And then just fluff that. But let me see, let me show you right here. See, I got black right here. This is also the black. So what I personally wanna do is, I'm not gonna rotate. I want my black to go that way and the purple to lay down on top of that black. So that kind of gives you a little idea of what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'll just twist that and go like that. See, you know, this, that way I don't have like black on black, that way I don't have like two blacks touching each other. All right, just like that. Now, I'm just gonna come to the very next pipe cleaner, and once again, it'll be my spider. And then the next one will be this. And we're just gonna keep rotating. All right, we are ready for our very last piece of ribbon. All right, once again, fold that over. Same old thing. Okay, pinch that right in the center. I'm gonna come to my very last pipe cleaner right here on the top. Lay that down in there. And just one good tight little squeeze. I'm gonna go ahead and fluff these out really quick. All right, seriously, look how beautiful this is already looking. Look at all those colors. It's so pretty together. They complement each other so well. All right, so we have this right here. Now, let's have fun and make our freaking stand wreath. All right, here's Frankie. <laughs> All right, so a craft outlet, he is $22. Um, he used to be like $17, so, you know, inflation, everything's gone up, but here's what he looks like. So, let's get him out of here. You get a head with the little wires, so you get his little face. You get his two little hands with, like, look at his little scars. <laughs> look how cute, and his black fingernails. You also get... His little, right here, I guess this is the front. He has little legs, look at his little high waters, <laughs> and his scars. And then you also get a chain. I don't, oh shoot, that just broke. I don't usually use a chain, I don't care for it, but if you want to, go ahead and use it. All right, uh, let's tie his little pants. Make him look kind of cute. There you go, let's go a little tie like that. Okay, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take his little head first. Oh, it's got a little glue on it. Okay. We're gonna start with his little head. Now, I'm not gonna cut any of my pipe cleaners just yet. 
because we're gonna add other stuff to this and I love to use my pipe cleaners to secure everything. So, for his cute little head here, get all the little wire pieces, just kinda like push them right through there, to the center of your wreath. Get his little head exactly where you want it to be. I'm just trying to get mine like right in the center of the wreath. So now I have that right there. I'm going to turn it over to the back side. Now, I'm going to grab the little wires and I'm going to wrap it around the wire wreath frame. Okay. So I'm just going to wrap it around two of the bars. And I'm going to give that a little tight twist, just one, so I can make sure it's where I want it to be. That way I can adjust it. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's great. All right, turn it back over. I keep sticking to this deco mesh. <laughs> All right, where is my other little wire at? Okay, so this one right here. I'm now gonna take this wire, which is all attached to the back of his little head. All right, and once again, I'm gonna take it. And you see these two? The two um, closest wires right here. I'm just going to go up through that. And I'm going to tie this tight around those two wires, those two rings. And I'm just going to give this a few good tight twists. I'm going to go ahead and twist this one also because this is where I want it to be at. All right, and then this little head down here. See if I can get it to attach down here. I can. Yeah, but this one right here, I can probably just get it around the one little one. This first little outer ring, or the first little inner ring. Alright, some good tight little twist. Let's turn it back over to make sure. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> Alright, so look, he's looking like that. Alright. When we're done, we're going to go back and we're going to cut all of these, um, the wires off. All the excess wire. Alright, so turn it back over. Let's go ahead and attach his legs. Alright, so you got the wires. I'm going to stand these straight up for me. Just kind of open those up. Straight up. All right, so with this, all I'm gonna do is kind of lift my wreath up a little bit, get his little legs pretty much centered with his little head right here. Okay. All right, so I, got, I think I pretty much got that just right. Now I'm gonna hold on to the body and the wreath, and I'm gonna turn it over. All right, I'm now gonna take that wire once again. I'm gonna wrap it around some of these wires of the wreath. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda go down around. All right, so now I'm gonna give that just one tight little twist on that side because I wanna make sure I have it just right. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just kinda have to work your way through some of this mesh. All right, so once again, I'm going to give that just one little tight twist. That way it kind of like holds on for me. I'm going to turn this over. Make sure that his little legs and little head look right. Look. <laughs> look at that. Alright, so going back over. That is where I want my Frankie's, his little legs. So once again, I'm going to do some good tight twist on that wire. And over here on this side too. All right, turn it back over. All right, now we have to do his little hands. You could like go up, like kind of like he's saying hi. You could do something like, can you see that? <laughs> you could go up high like that, have one up or one down. You could have it to where they're just kind of like dangling down like this. Let's see, what would be the cutest? We could do something like that. I'm just gonna take this wire, I'm gonna stand it up for me. 
So we could kind of do just straight down. All right, I've decided I want my little Frankenstein's little hands to be like, he's coming out of the wreath, almost like to greet you, to like give you a hug or something. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try to take this wire straight down. I'm gonna go down through all of this mesh right here. All right, so I'm gonna bend that kind of back a little bit. I'm gonna flip Frankie over. And then right here, I got it wrapped around one of the little bars. I'm gonna get that as flat and tight, little twist as I can. I'm just doing one, that way I can make sure first. All right, yeah, that worked. That right there works so much better. All right, so my second hand, once again, I'm gonna straighten that out. I'm gonna go work my way through right here. I'm just kinda like working my way through the mesh down to my wreath form. I'm gonna flip that over. And once again, I'm gonna get that as flush as I can and then a tight little twist. All right, let's turn that back over. Right now I can like bend and adjust his little hand because his hand and fingers has wire in them. All right, so now that I have that in there, y'all, seriously, <laughs> look how cute he's already looking. I'm gonna adjust this so you can see everything, don't worry, but look, how cute he's already looking. All right, so I need to turn him back over. And all of those, I now need to give some good, tight, secure twist to. His little hands. All right, if you can only see how have you propped up because I need the height. <laughs> all right, so, seated here at my utility door, I always have a wreath hanger on my utility door. I have a clear one. But just go to Dollar Tree, get you a cheap door like wreath hanger, and it makes crafting, like making wreaths, so much easier. So, I'm gonna move our pumpkin that we made together. All right, are y'all ready to make Frankie even cuter? <laughs> All right, so see my plastic wreath, my... So you see my little door hanger right here. I'm gonna hook. Sit him on there, and all I do, just the wire, the wreath itself, I just hook it. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all, he is so cute. Seriously, I love him. All right, I just wanted you to be able to see, like, look how big this is. I mean, seriously, this is over two feet tall, so, I need to measure this. I'm seriously, hold on. So yeah, this is seriously over two and a half feet tall. You're getting close to three feet tall right here from the top of the wreath down to his legs. So this is a great size. All right, we are now gonna take some of the glittery Halloween ornaments from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use some black of the sparkly. Let me show you. Some of the black sparkly little um, ornaments. And I also have some of the beautiful Purple. Y'all, purple's my favorite color. I love it. All right, so I'm just gonna take like one of these purple. Look how beautiful that is. Look how pretty. Seriously, Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna take this, just a little loop. What I'm gonna do, one of the little pipe cleaners that's already on here, I'm just gonna slide that through it, making sure that it goes all the way down, like into there. And I'm gonna give a tight twist around this ornament. And I'm gonna go ahead and do like two or three good tight twists because I'll be done with this one. And look at that. Look how pretty, look how pretty that is right there. All right, so we got a purple there. All right, I'm gonna take one of these beautiful orange ones, like right up here. Once again, I'm gonna slide that through. I'm just gonna kind of work it all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do some good, tight twist around this little ornament. Like three or four good tight twists. And look, look how pretty that is right there. All right, so I'm gonna come like down here and I'm gonna do a black one. Just slide once again through the little loop of the ornament. I'm just gonna slide it through the little pipe cleaner tail. 
Just work it all the way down there. And then I'm just going to do some good tight twist around that ornament. Like three or four good tight twist and that's on there. It's not going anywhere. Maybe another purple one like up top up here. Just kind of move this out of the way. Okay, just going to slide that through. That little tail up here. And then once again, I'm just going to do some good, tight twist around this beautiful, sparkly ornament. All right, now let's take my favorite spider from Dollar Tree. I love this spider because it's cute and it's not like too creepy looking. So I love it and it has a great size to it. So this like sparkly, it's like that tinsel little spider. So. Once again, we're going to use the pipe cleaners that's already there. So just kind of find where you would want to put something like this. I think, I think I'm going to go like right up here at the top. Like he's coming down to Frankie. And what I'm going to do like these um, pipe cleaner legs that are already right here. I'm going to use those and I'm going to wrap it around his little legs. Really really tight and I'm going to wrap it all the way around his little legs until I've run out of pipe cleaner. I'm going to do the same thing to this little one back here. I'm going to keep twisting that same pipe cleaner, the opposite little, the little tail. I'm just going to keep wrapping it around his little leg. All right? That look, I can't pull that off. That is attached. Now I can also take the next pipe cleaner that's the closest to it I can do the exact same thing. I can wrap it around his little leg. Okay, and now that's not going anywhere. I'm gonna do the same thing with this pipe cleaner. Just give it a few twists and I'll show you up close and you won't even notice it. All right, I think I wanna take another one of these pretty orange ones. Look, at, I mean, just seriously, look how pretty. Um, let's go like right here on the side. It's going to come right over here. I'm going to slide that all the way down. And then once again, I'm going to take that same pipe cleaner and I'm just going to give that like three or four good tight twists around that little ornament. And I'll just kind of fluff out my ribbon again. Oh my gosh. I mean, y'all, seriously, you can keep going. You can add as many ornaments as you want. You could add another spider to it. You could put a bat on it. Um, you could take, if you wanted, you could take some of the bats from Dollar Tree. I mean, look, they've got the black glitter and they've got like the purple glitter. You could add you some bats on here. Let's see. I feel like the purple stands out more. I guess because I love purple for one. <laughs> Let's just see. So yeah. Look how pretty that is. So, and the best thing is, they're on a clip. So you can just clip this to your wreath. So, what you would wanna do, you wanna clip to the deco mesh. Do not clip to the ribbon, because obviously this is heavier and it's gonna make your, your ribbon kinda like flop. So, wherever you would wanna put it, just attach it to the mesh. And look how cute that is. Right, look right here. I think I'm gonna stick one like right over here. Just attach it right through that deco pouch, through the deco mesh. All right, now what you wanna do is to secure everything where you do not have like an ornament or the spider attached, you're gonna go to your pipe cleaner. Those pipe cleaners, you're now gonna give three to four good tight twist on all those other pipe cleaners. Then you're gonna take like some wire cutters or your scissors. And then right above my last little twist, which is about an inch, I'm gonna cut off that excess tails right above my last twist. So just cut off the little tails. And it kind of leaves you with like this little nub thing right here. See that right there? All I do, I bend that and just kind of like pinch it. And then look how clean that looks right there. You can't even see it. All right, so now you just go around 
And you're gonna do that to all of your pipe cleaners. Okay, just go around to the very next one. Like I said, give it like three to four more good tight twist above your last twist. You're just gonna cut off that excess tail. That right there. You're gonna take that little tail and you're just gonna bend it and like pinch it into your wreath. And then just kind of fluff your ribbon in the back. Okay, so around this ornament, because I twisted it so many times around the ornament, this is good to go. I'll just clip it above that last twist. And once again, I'll just kind of pinch and bend that little tail. I'll twist it around. I'm gonna come to this one. Okay, I'm gonna do three good tight twist. I'll cut above that last little twist. And that little tail, I'm just gonna like bend and push into the wreath. All right, so I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna do this to all of them. All right, so now that I have the tight all like tightened and secured and cleaned up, carefully just kind of like flip them over. And all those wires where I attached Frankenstein, I'm now gonna cut off all that excess. I am leaving a tail. Once again, I'm leaving about a... All right, so once I have that excess cut off, I am now, very carefully, gonna take that wire, I'm gonna bend it, and I'm gonna push it back into the wreath because I do not want this wire to scratch my door. I've got a big glass, um, like the big window in our front door. I don't wanna scratch it. So I'm gonna push this, I'm gonna bend it, like I said, down into the wreath. That way there's nothing sharp sticking out. Nothing's gonna scratch my door or your door or if you were to sell this, someone else's door. All right y'all, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna give you, we're gonna do the shake test. That way you can see, look, <laughs> nothing is falling off of this wreath. This wreath is secure. It's gonna hold up in the wind. Look at that. I am shaking. Those ornaments, nothing is moving. <laughs> Y'all, I love him. I love Frankenstein. I don't know what it is about Frankie. Um, I love the movie Young Frankenstein. I mean, ever since I was young, I love Young Frankenstein. So just the whole like Frankenstein monster, just something about Frankenstein that I love. But I love how colorful it is. You can use any ribbons that you want. I actually grabbed a few different ones at Hobby Lobby just to give you an example because just in case you can't get anything from Craft Outlet. I grabbed some of these right here. Look at these pretty colors. These right here are Hobby Lobby year round. This is all back like in the wedding section. Um, they have an owl of the deco mesh and just an owl of different like wired ribbons. So you can mix any of these together to get like the same like color combo that I did. So right here. <laughs> and they're not expensive. Like look at this, um, is it Harley Quinn? Is that what this is called? Harley Quinn? But look at that. Look how pretty this is. This was $9.99, but I only buy it when it's 50% off. So I got 30 feet, there's 30 feet of this for $5. You could mix that. Get you some orange and white polka dot. This was seven. So I got this on sale for four dollars. You get you some purple and the stripes. I got this on sale for four dollars. They have green polka dots. I mean, they have all kinds of colors. And then I also I grabbed these because I thought these were different. You know, you can mix any of this together. You can use a bunch of different ribbons. But all right, I hope that you have like enjoyed making Frankie with me as much as I did. Um, and let me know what you think. I, I think he's gonna go in my front door. Right now I've got the witch cauldron that we made together and I'll show you that because I'm gonna switch it out. So I gotta decide which one I wanna put up there. Um, my husband is always trying to get me. I have an Etsy shop, but I have nothing listed in it for like two years now. <laughs> it just sits empty. So if I decide to maybe sell him, he may be on Etsy, which is Happiness is Homemade for, I think. <laughs> I started the account two years ago and I've never sold anything on Etsy. 
but he's always saying, Jennifer, you have so many wreaths, so many crafts, sell them. So we'll see. Um, but you know, let me know if you would even be interested in something like that. Um, and also, my YouTube and Instagram accounts have been hacked. Y'all, these people drive me nuts. <laughs> so in the comments on YouTube, I, it's it looks like it's coming from me about text me on Telegram. I would never do that to you. Um, I would never say like text me at something random or DM me something random. That's not me. And then on Instagram, my kids, kids are the ones who like let me know right away because they got a friend request or they got like a follow me request from my profile picture. And it says like happiness underscore something random. Like it's not me. And of course, you know, they knew right away and a lot of you have caught it too. So thank you so much. Um, I only have one YouTube account and I only have one Instagram account and they are both happiness is homemade for. I think Instagram is happiness is homemade underscore for. But yeah, that's it. I don't have other random accounts and I would never ask you to join other accounts online. You know, if I'm like sitting here talking to you and I mention it, that's different. You're like, if it comes out of my mouth, it's for real. If you see something on YouTube that doesn't look right, like in a comment, um, if you see something on Instagram that doesn't feel right, you know, just double check with me personally. So, better right. <laughs> I'm gonna quit rambling. Um, I do have a couple more Halloween things and we'll jump into fall and my mind is already going to gingerbread Christmas crafts. So, oh my gosh, and I have a huge gingerbread man wreath that I make too. That's gonna be like the first week of November because I know you want to enjoy it. Because if I wait till December to make a Christmas wreath, you know, like I feel bad that this is right now, but I had so many medical issues lately and I had to go to the hospital for testing and uh, all kinds of stuff, but I'm good. So thank you for your prayers, not cancer. So thank you. <laughs> Um, but, yeah, you know, like I said, let me know what you think. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you. And just thank you so much for being so wonderful and so kind and loving and complimentative to me and my family. I love you. I really do. So, all right. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, here is the witch cauldron wreath that y'all, this is the one we made together. If you didn't see this video, I can link it down for you. Look how big and cute this is. But let's try to replace it with Frankie and see what we think. <laughs> Look at him. I love how he looks like he's like jumping through the wreath to give you a big old hug. It's like, welcome, hello. I love it. You step back a little bit. So those of you like um, that did like the decorate my front porch and yard with me, I kind of have like the boo, the witch's broom. Oh my gosh, y'all! We added a fire pit. Wait till you see this. I'll put it on. Inst I'll put it. I'll show you a picture later. Like lit up. Look at that. <laughs> so we got Frankie now. So let me know what you think. Should I leave Frankie up, or should I go back to the witch's cauldron? But I love him. Thank you.